Dr. Patrick Ryder. So over the past several months, we in Nassau County have watched in our television screens active shooters devastate communities. But today, that reality came home to Nassau County. And our hearts go out to the families and the victims of this crime. Just let's not forget there is someone who's dead now and there are two people in the hospital. I want to thank our Nassau County Police Department under the leadership of Patrick Ryder with incredible training, intelligence-led policing, the subject, the suspect, was apprehended very quickly. Not a minute was wasted, all the while keeping our surrounding communities safe. So I am so proud of our police officers, of our detectives, who are professional, who are very well trained, and got the job done for our residents. Thank you. Right, I'll go over briefly again how it went down this morning and then tell you where we are as far as the arrest that was made. At 11.19, call came out for shots fired at the stop and shop down here on Cherry Valley. When the subject had shown up to work today, he is an employee there, and his name is again Gabriel DeWitt Wilson. When he showed up to work today, he went straight down to an office on the second floor. At that time, he shot a male and a female victim. Those, both of those victims are recovering now at a local hospital. And then he went down to a second office where he shot and killed one of the managers of the building. He then fled that location. We came out to all of you. We gave you information of the description. Calls started to come in. We locked down immediately all of our schools in the area. The calls led us to 100 Terrace Avenue in Hempstead. Our SWAT unit, our BSO members, Got out there, got it. We're out with the patrol and the Hempstead PD. They surrounded the building. They went in very tactically to keep everybody safe that's in that building. The subject tried to flee through the down through the first floor. He was then apprehended both by the Hempstead and the Bureau of Special Operations here in the police department. There are no injuries to anybody. The subject is, un, is now under arrest and the homicide investigation will continue. Um, again, as you heard from the county exec. Many too, too, too often we sit here and we talk about active shooters that happen around the country. Today it's in our backyard. We're going to do everything we can to help make sure that we prevent this from happening again. But it's the community that's got to come forward. There's a community that's got to talk to us about people like Mr. DeWitt and tell us if there are concerns that he has. And then we'll go out and follow up and investigate that. Uh, we'll have more on the story tomorrow after we finish what we have to do tonight, finish processing the scene. And our, our homicide guys do exactly what they do best and investigate the rest of this. Any questions? Madam Commissioner, Madam Commissioner, Madam Commissioner, do you know a motive? We do not have a motive at this time. But he's a current criminal background? He is a current employee. He does have a small criminal background. I don't have the background with me. He's also been taken once before as a mental aid here in Nassau County. Commissioner, are you requesting federal, are you requesting federal help or assistance from the White House, President Biden? Have you been in touch with them? So, I, I got to tell you, we, we've been too busy trying to capture the ge gentleman. We have reached out to the FBI, the NYPD, and let me tell you something, the NYPD is one of the greatest partners you can have in law enforcement. Uh, they've been very helpful with us with getting, gathering information. The FBI, will, we will be speaking with them and the U.S. Attorney's Office. Did you find a weapon on him when you found him, and what was his job actually? So at, at the job, he was one of the gentlemen that collected the carts in the lot. Um, the, the weapon, is, there is still more activity at 100 Terrace. It is secure. Everybody is safe. But we have to now conduct us our uh, search warrants at the location. What kind of weapon did he we, have? We, we don't know what, what is at that residence. Of course, he had a weapon when he was here. We, we believe it was a small handgun. I'm sorry. We'll have more on that tomorrow. That's an ongoing investigation. We have to speak to our victims in the hospital. Obviously, they're recovering from their injuries, and we'll speak to other employees. So what we can tell you now is that the, he went straight, straight to one office on the second floor. Both a, a male and a female were in that office. Both of them were shot. Both of those two individuals are recovering at local hospital. He then went to the next office where the manager was, and he shot the manager and killed the manager. All on the second floor. Where were they shot? Ongoing. Within a matter of minutes, it was over. Can you say that you might have been able to drive in, please?
All the, the all the people that were shot were employees. There was a lot of people shopping in the store, in the parking lot. The fifth precinct did an outstanding job getting those out, controlling that flow of people to get them controlled access, get their information, and many of them are now witnesses to what they heard and saw. We had numerous 911 calls of people from in the store and outside the store as the subject fled, and we received additional information throughout the day as the story went out, telling us that there's a possibility of where he could be. Several addresses were checked out. The, mo the one that turned out to be uh, fruitful was the 100 Terrace Avenue. That is that is that is that is he has multiple addresses. We're not sure where he actually resides. He was treated once for, for a mental health illness in, in Nassau County. That's all I have at this time. Have you spoken to the governor? Huh? We'll have more back here with tomorrow. How did he get out of here? Get out here? Uh, we don't know how he got here today. We, we don't know how he left today. We know that he left on foot originally, and then he went westbound originally on, on the turnpike. Did you speak to the governor? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, an update, important update on the shooting. Police getting the call just after 11:19 this morning at the Stop and Shop on Cherry Valley Avenue in West Hempstead. We just learned that the suspect has been apprehended. Uh, the uh, police commissioner there of Nassau County telling us where they apprehended the suspect, who is an employee. Uh, the suspect, Gabriel DeWitt. Uh, Wilson was captured at 100 Terrace. Uh, this is, and I just looked at the building, it's a big apartment building, 100 Terrace Avenue in Hempstead. Uh, and police say that he did try to get away, but he was apprehended. Uh, important also that uh, the police commissioner detailing exactly what happened, um, saying that the, that Wilson uh, showed up to work. He, his job is uh, organizing the carts in the parking lot. They say that he first, though, showed up to work, went straight to the second floor, went to one office and shot a male and a female, went to the second office and shot the manager. Um, the male and female are in the hospital, we're told, and that they uh, were conscious and alert so police could speak with them. Again, this is all allegedly, obviously, Gabriel DeWitt Wilson is the suspect in this uh, shooting death of one person and wounding two other people. And, and another thing, um, there were shoppers in the store, there were employees in the store who heard shots fired. And as we all live in this world, just, you know, can it happen here? No, it can't. And the county executive, uh, Laura Kern, and the uh, police commissioner saying, yes, it can. It can happen in our backyard. And of the mass shootings in the United States, uh, Boulder, Colorado, just March 22nd, 10 people shot in a grocery store, shot to death, including a police officer, that suspect in custody. So again, the suspect in custody after an active shooter situation at a grocery store, West Hempstead, New York, just after 11 this morning, he has been apprehended because of calls, people calling in to police and letting them know they'd seen him. Uh, the commissioner saying that Wilson had a, a what he called a small uh, criminal record and that he had been uh, picked up by police for some mental health issue. We will continue to follow this and have the latest news for you. Uh, also, do not forget that we have learned that there is a verdict in the Derek Chauvin murder trial. Uh, that information, CBS News, of course, will be following and all afternoon, and we should know that verdict in about uh, 40 minutes. So stay with us right here on CBSN New York and CBS2 and CBS News. I'm Dana Tyler.